Hello, hi guys. Uh, how's everybody going? Um, today I'm going to talk about a concept. Um, well, an approach I developed for a landscape architecture analysis or evaluation. See here, um, there is like UMass, right? Um, they are pretty strong at landscape ecology. Um, they have a landscape ecology lab, and they cre created a really, um, you know, great software called Frag Stats. Actually, what they do is um, they just put a bunch of uh, tools, metrics, into one package, and it's used for to do, um, you know, landscape analysis research, uh, like um, evaluate uh, how health, how healthy a region, okay, in terms of in terms of a uh, ecological sustainability or biomass, those kind of really technical scientific research, okay? And it's really, I was really happy they released the, um, they actually released the, the documentation of this software, which is to tell you all the formulas and where they get those formulas to calculate um, of all those tools, okay? Like all those tools. So in the this chapter, uh, metrics, they, list all the tools um, they had in that software all right um, if you look at here so you can see all those kind of uh, metrics and they and also they tell you where they where all these methods the formulas coming from uh, so what I do is I feel like um, this is really cool um, and it's really well used in landscape ecology, like forestry, agriculture, those kind of um, fields, the field of science, okay? But I feel maybe it can be used in landscape architecture um, at site level because uh, what they cannot do is you have to use this kind of regional land use map, okay, which is generated by, usually generated by satellite, okay? Um, it's, to me, it's impossible to use in the site level, okay? So it's basically regional level, like a state, a state or a county, uh, kind of that big, uh, at least. So, you know, how big it was, right? Uh, it's like 25 hectares. Um, like here, right? This is city level, right? So, um, like all this, right? This is like, this is another, this is like state level, okay? They all use these kind of maps which is not available for a lot of uh, site-level project. Um, so what, what I'm trying to do is to still use these concepts, okay? Because this is really good concept. See here, um, if you go up, see here, um, uh, scientific ways to evaluate ecology, okay? A, a region. Uh, and it has been proved really successful to doing that, okay? Why not? Instead of regional scale, but site scale. See here, um, like, for example, you see here like patch metrics, patch uh, landscape metrics, uh, area, edge, shape, right? Um, contrast, aggregation, diversity, okay? All these kind of concepts. And you will see here, um, there's, actually, there's a paper capturing landscape visual characters using uh, indicators, uh, landscape is aesthetic theory, right? This paper they mentioned, um, I think it's somewhere down here, they mentioned the complexity, coherence, disturbance, imagibility, visual scale, naturalist, historical, informer. So, so all these are really great concepts, um, but uh, there were very few efficient uh, approaches to analyze them, okay? Like um, what uh, UMass uh, can do. So I was trying to develop um, an approach on this. So what I do is really, um, I think it's really simple. F let me cancel this. So first you need a base map. Let's say this is the, let's say um, this area, right, is our site. It's really small, okay? And in this site we can you know, we can trace, we can create a base map, okay? It's like a, the patches in the natural landscapes, okay? Um, and you can just draw them shape by shape and they all connect with each other. There's some gaps, okay? Um, this base map is, is not that detailed, but in really detailed condition, you can make the gap really, really small, okay? Just make sure when you trace them, make the gap really small. Um, and 
for example, in this case, I think these lands have different classes, different patches, okay? Different classes of land categories. For example, I have buildings here. These buildings and natural vegetations, which is like like wild vegetation not developed, uh, and the landscaping, which is landscapes like human beings created, like lawns, decoration, grasses, landscape architecture, right? Chairs, those kind of places. And then the pavement. You should basically it's parking lots or um, you know cars, roads, things like that. Okay, in this site. So I have this one, two, three, four. Um, I think in most of the case, this is a really simple example. In most cases, you can make it more specific, like um, in terms of quality, right? The quality, good, bad, worse, right? Um, build quality, or uh, you can make it as like uh, land value, all those kind of things. Okay, you can define. Okay, so just you can draw as much as you can. Okay, it can be ten, twenty. Okay, all these categories. Then I move all these categories categories into grasshopper and what I do is I try to analyze this whole area okay based on the theory of landscape ecology um, and their approach okay uh, I got all the formulas I used and the, the definitions um, and what I calculated so um, this all uh, from either paper or a published documents um, so first, for example, I calculate the richness of this site, which is um, the number of la different uh, landscape elements or patches per area, okay? Uh, I got a value is 0 0.09, I think it is per, um, is how, how, like, I think it's per 100 square feet, square um, meters, things like that, okay? You can change um, the, the area definition, it can be acres or hackers, uh, 100 square feet, square meters, you know, it's really flexible down here. Uh, and the other thing is diversity. And for diversity, I use the Simpsons Diversity Index, and there there is a formula for that, and I calculated this. What this mean was, um, if it was um, zero, which means the whole site only have one, uh, it's, it's universal, okay? The whole site only have one type of landscape. Um, and um, if it's one, which means there are many types of landscape, and all the landscape are same area, okay, same size, same shape, but different, okay, but different. So which means have more diversity, okay. So one is maximum diversity, and zero is uh, least diversity, okay. Um, the other definition is edge density. What this calculated, I also have a formula used here. Um, and edge density, so this is all the code I wrote. Um, so for edge density, uh, what they do is, it's just like a measure to calculate in certain area how long is the edge you have. Okay. So when we call something somewhere edge, which means, for example, um, it's two different landscapes touched together. For example, this was definitely an edge because this is a um, one type of landscape and this is another type of landscape so they have an edge okay but this is not edge because this is one type of landscape and here is the same type of landscape okay then we have which means so in this value which is uh, the larger uh, means there are more uh, edge density okay and here um, is really com um, sophisticated one called the hetero uh, you will create a grid, okay? So you will create a grid, and they will calculate. For example, um, this is a grid, right? They will calculate the value of the label, the points in the labeling, okay? Labeling points, and uh, basically every two pairs of points, okay? They will calculate them, okay? So like this point of labor, if they're the same, identical, which means they're less heterogeneity, okay? They're identical. It's, it's a good, great way to measure what we call the dynamics, diversity, or complexity of a land, okay? So here I get a value from here, okay? Zero, which means all points are the same, and one, which means no laboring points are the same, which means super diverse, okay? I was I would say super diverse. And then the other uh, one I got is aggre uh, aggregation index. 
Um, this is pretty cool to me also. Um, it will take the points also. For example, here I take the, um, I think it is the pavement area. Okay, so it's, it's one type of, it's actually from this paper. Um, there's a paper about this aggregation index. And uh, what they do is a great way to measure whether or not land is fragmented. The fragmentation or, you know, like a patch, whether or not it's resilient or solid, okay? Like here, this is just like a one one patch, okay? Uh, and there's here you have really high fragmentation, okay? Which means if, if it was a landscape here, this one are more resilient, right? And uh, this one may be not that healthy. Okay, and in terms of shape, right, you know, it's easy, like all this area, right, it's easy to disappear, okay, but if you have a whole big area, it's hard to disappear, the whole thing, okay, um, so this is what I mean, so it's a measure, um, aggregation, okay, so one means it's, it's maximally intact, ag uh, aggregated, okay, um, and uh, it will have a value, okay? So what I do is for the pavement uh, area, I got 0 0.5. Uh, and finally, I got the shape index. So what this do is really simple. Um, so you will see uh, if I highlight this. So what you calculate is, see this, they have different colors, right? So red is higher and green is lower. So what this do is they will look at the shape of the all these patches, okay? If the shape is really uh, regular like a square right and then they will have for a lower value if the shape are really organic and uh, then they uh, they will have really higher value okay so you will see here this all the shape it looks like a triangle or this just look at squares but this like a multiple fingers or something like that they will be really high okay I think this is a pretty good pretty good way to um, to evaluate whether or not your land is looks natural. So I think all these approaches can be widely used in landscape. So think about uh, how we, if you want to answer questions like um, this piece of land, right? This piece of land, how good it performs? Okay, how fragmented they are? Or uh, what's the level of col uh, collectivity in terms of the other lands? Or uh, what's the diversity? right or whether or not there's coherence between them so if you want to answer all these questions this tool can definitely help you effectively okay and it's really precise uh, and efficient all right uh, so this this for today uh, i will see you next time thanks